Hi everyone, thank you for having me here. It's my first time being on this kind of uh, situation and a lot of people I've never been before. And uh, I'll try my best to explain to you. And uh, uh, you know my name, my name is, my full name is Tegest, but you can call me TJ, I'm from Ethiopia. And uh, I'll try to explain my situation to you. And uh, I graduated high school in Ethiopia, and I never been in college or university, so my English is not that good. Please try to understand. <laughs> okay, first, when I came here, uh, uh, I used to live in the United States for a while, uh, for a few years. Uh, I went to visit my cousin from Ethiopia to uh, U.S. and uh, I have been lived uh, for a few years and then I decided to come to Canada uh, because uh, I applied for a, a political asylum there uh, so I wasn't uh, um, approved so uh, it's been denied I have to come here in Canada so I have to try my best instead going back home and being on difficult situations so I decided to come here. So, um, but at the end, uh, when I decided to come in Canada at the border of uh, U.S. and Canada, so uh, I have been told to wait to uh, United States and border. There is a shelter, so I decided to get to go there, and uh, but instead I have been, you know. Uh, taken to jail and so I have been in jail for five months and um, it was really hard for me being in jail for five months and uh, uh, you're being jailed with criminals and uh, I'm there just because uh, I don't have any paper I just need my freedom so somehow I have to manage to stay there for five months and after five months and uh, Canadian immigration, uh, they approved my case, so I came to Canada in 1998. Uh, so since then, here I am here, and I'm citizen now. I'm so happy to be here. And uh, it's not only new immigrant. Uh, yeah, still, I don't speak good English, but I'm Canadian citizen, so I'm proud. And uh, I have a six-year-old daughter. So and at the same time, I'm running my business, which is uh, Ethiopian restaurant. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very nervous and <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, so uh, I start my business uh, because um, I have to support myself and uh, also uh, my mom and uh, uh, my grandmother, they used to have a restaurant in a small town in Ethiopia. and. Uh, I grew up, uh, you know, cooking and running around with my mom and grandma. So uh, I think I'm adapted to that kind of uh, uh, job in cooking. And so I was learned from my parents. And uh, so it was easier for me to open the restaurant, uh, serve my cultural food here mm -hmm. in London. And. Uh, yeah, first I decided to come in London because uh, I know family member who lives here. So uh, instead of going anywhere, and then uh, it's better to be here. Uh, at least there is somebody if I need to talk to uh, someone. But uh, she was new also, uh, my uh, family member, which is the same like me. She was very much new. But uh, at least, you know, she's there for me. And um, uh, I try to take a uh, uh, English language, which is ESL, uh, to improve my English. And because I don't have that much education, just 12th grade graduation, and uh, and back home we don't learn that much English. So, uh, but uh, instead finishing my school, so um, I decide to open a restaurant because I have to help myself and uh, support myself. And I don't have any income, and I don't have anybody to help me. And uh, so uh, it's easier, like I said, from the experience to have the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Um, but at the same time, uh, before uh, I was opening my restaurant, uh, I decided to take hair styling course also. I thought maybe it would be better, uh, you know, to uh, have a job and uh, 
make some money to support myself, uh, but uh, it was really hard to get a job. Um, but uh, then that's why that's when I decided to open my restaurant, and finally. Uh, I was really doing good in my business, but uh, working by myself, it was really difficult uh, because I don't have any help or uh, uh, it was hard to find somebody uh, to hire and help you and uh, or as a cook. Um, there is no anyone uh, doing uh, the job really um, perfectly and I haven't found anybody qualified to do the job. So I'm very much there from opening to closing. And uh, for a few years, um, it was OK. At least I can be there for long hours. But after I have my daughter, it was really difficult. And uh, uh, coming in the morning and uh, wait, uh, staying until closing and doing all the job, it was really difficult. But at uh, the same time, when I have her, I closed my restaurant for four months. The same time I was paying my rent, my all the bills without making money. It wasn't easy for me. And uh, even I was uh, trying on one point, I was giving up uh, to just close the restaurant and uh, walk away and just live normal life. But uh, I was thinking about it and it's not only up, up to me and the customers you know the everybody was really uh, eager if I was going back to work or not and to find out and uh, I have a very amazing customers from all over from kindergarten to university you know and uh, I, I owe all these people so I, I said you know there is no way I can close the restaurant so somehow I have to manage to be there. But uh, I, at the end, I decided it was really hard uh, decision to make, but I have to send my daughter to Los Angeles to her aunt when she was four months. So and uh, going back, it's really hard for me without her and uh, you know you have to um, you know I miss her a lot and then uh, it's it was really difficult uh, running the business at the same time she stayed there uh, almost for seven months and she came back and um, yeah I was happy but at the same time I have to run my business and uh, uh, yeah, she's now six years old, however, but I can manage and it's uh, still difficult. Um, uh, but uh, that was m maybe the hardest part for me. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it was really easier for me to, to adapt with Londoners uh, because of my customer service, the business. And uh, uh, when I get new customer, either, you know, my regular customer, and uh, it's easier to talk to them, you know, you start uh, to explain about my food and culture and everything. I think it's easier for me to communicate, and uh, uh, it's hard for me. I'm really shy when I talk to people, but uh, I'm happy that I'm, I'm keep getting customers and then uh, people and uh, when they open up it will be easier when they open the door for me and talk to the people and um, however um, I, I, I manage my business uh, even though it's hard and uh, but uh, it's hard for me also uh, to continue my school and uh, because of my business and uh, uh, it's because I have a restaurant it doesn't mean I know enough. Uh, I wanted to improve my English and then I wanted to be in a school and uh, uh, even to grow my business I have to uh, speak very well English and then I have to go to school and uh, take my courses helping me something to do with my business. Um, but it wasn't easy uh, for me, uh, still hard. Uh, um, to run the business uh, by, by myself. It's not like uh, uh, 
I can't hire anybody, but you can hire, but it's hard to find somebody which is qualified and uh, I'm so uh, uh, really picky also and make sure I'm serving good food for uh, uh, my customers and they do good job. It's not easy, like it's different in ethnic food, so make sure you know what you're serving. Uh, it's not something you're passing to somebody else. And if you don't know, maybe it's hard, but for me, uh, make sure I'm serving really uh, good food and uh, also um, for sure it's my traditional food, you know, uh, putting on the table for my customer. And at uh, the same time, uh, you know, it's hard for me going out and uh, talk to people and uh, participate with uh, in the community if there is something and needs. Uh, I can't do that because I'm uh, always at work, working 14, 15 hours a day. So um, it's not really um, easy for me. But I'm really appreciated uh, that, you know, I'm here today uh, in this place and this moment and, and giving me chance to be here. And uh, um, I don't know what to say. I'm really blessed and uh, I wish I, I can explain more, but uh, like I said, I have a difficulty in English and, uh, um, but yeah, I really appreciate it that I'm here and uh, this is my story, so I can explain. Thank you. <laughs>